Mom, where are you? What happened, Mohan? Look, Mom, I have another tooth broken. In the past few months, I have lost three teeth. Now, when I laugh, my face looks so funny. I do not want to look like this. <laughs> Mohan, these are your milk teeth. After some time, you will get new and permanent teeth in place of your broken teeth. Friends, like Mohan, you must have also lost your milk teeth and got your new permanent teeth. You know that teeth are an important part of our body. They help us to chew and eat our food. They also help us to speak clearly. Do you know that a kid can have maximum 20 milk teeth? However, when he grows up, he will have maximum 32 permanent teeth. Let us learn more about our teeth. When you look at your teeth in the mirror, you will notice that the teeth in your mouth are of different shapes and sizes. We have four different types of teeth. Each type of teeth has a different purpose. Cut, tear, grind and chew. Let us see the front four teeth in both the upper and lower jaws. They all are same in shape and have a sharp edge. They work like scissors to bite or cut food into small pieces. Hence they are called incisors. Look at the sharp pointed teeth located on both sides of incisors on each jaw. These are used to tear the food like a fork. They are called canines. They are four in number, two in each jaw. Next to each canine, there are two broad and flat teeth. They act as nutcracker and are used to grind and break the food into fine pieces. They are called premolars. They are four premolars in each jaw. Look at the last three teeth on both sides of each jaw. On both sides of each jaw, the last three teeth are broader than the premolars. These are called molars. Their function is similar to the premolars. But they are used to grind the food further into a fine paste. We have in total 32 teeth, 16 in each jaw. Now let us learn about the structure of a tooth. The body of a tooth is divided into two parts. The upper part is called crown, while the lower part is called root. The root is fixed in jaw and is hidden. The crown is made up of enamel, which is the hardest material in our body. Below the enamel, there is a bone-like material called cementum or dentine. Cementum helps to fix each jaw firmly into the jawbone. The center of the tooth is known as pulp. The root portion of each tooth is surrounded by the gums, that also cover the jawbone. The pulp and gums have blood vessels and nerves.